Hello there! If you're watching this, that means you've taken on the responsibility of being a fursuit handler. Congratulations on being the trusted companion for your cuddly buddy! However, this is no simple task, and not for the easily distracted or faint of heart. Luckily, me and my friends here are going to walk you through the basics of how to handle a fursuiter. We've narrowed it down to what we're calling the five fundamentals of fursuit handling. Five fundamentals, like my five friends here. Guys! Hi, I'm Splash. One of the ways I make it through the day is having a handler provide me water and carry all my supplies. Hi, my name's Jazzy. I need someone to help me through crowds. It's your boy, Nato. I need a bodyguard to keep all these weirdos off of me, you know? Hi, I'm Vexit. Please look at the camera. Uh huh? Over here. Yep. Nope. You had it. Oh, sorry. I'm looking for someone to take pictures and document the fun. You're all correct. A fursuit handler can and should be all of these things. Let's take it from the beginning. Has this ever happened to you? With the impaired vision, hearing, mobility, and breathing that comes with fursuiting, being unprepared can be pretty dangerous. So before you set out on your adventures, make sure you stock up your inventory. Here are some basic items to get you started. Keys. Water or Gatorade. Fursuit brush. Phones and cameras. Wallets or cash. And medications. Bonus points for and make sure to leave extra space for anything else your suitor may want to bring with them. But being prepared is more than just carrying supplies. You also need to be sure that your suitor makes use of them when necessary. It's important to watch for signs of overheating and fatigue and make sure they take frequent water breaks. Newer suitors may let their enthusiasm get in the way of their health. So be sure to keep up open communication with your suitor and have your water and fans at the ready. So, you've got your supplies, and you're ready to escort a giant blind animal around a public space. Always keep in mind that there's a big difference between what you see and what your suitor sees. Try to make a path for them. Don't be shy about asking people to get out of the way. If you're wearing a tail, have your suitor hold on to that, or form a cute little conga line by putting their hands on your shoulders. Your fursuiter may not want to stop every 30 seconds for hugs and pictures. If so, it's your job to run interference and keep them moving. Now you can step back and allow the fursuiter to take the lead on interacting, but be sure to keep them in your line of sight so that you don't get separated if they wander off. Motivation is especially important when it comes to protecting your suitor from the outside world. And it's up to you to keep your suitor safe from harm. We call this being a buddy guard. Let's break it down. This is Hockey Fall. Park entrance is clear. Affirmative. All clear in this thing. Always have your suitor within your line of sight and be ready to intervene when necessary. Hey! There are certain hazards you'll need to be especially aware of. Hey, cutie! So stay close I to your suitor and be on the lookout for... Let me see them paws! Can they just let me lick one toe being a... <gasps> Drunk people. Tail pullers. Oh yeah, I'm gonna touch your tail. Oh my god, can't... <laughs> Dirty paws. Oh, give me a beans, give me a beans, give me a beans. Oh, fuck! And small children. I want a hug! <laughs> Once a threat is identified, you must either avoid, communicate, or observe to ensure your suitor's safety. If you should ever need to protect your suitor from harm, the goal is to cover, evacuate, and get out of harm's way. Remember, every great team has to have a good defense. One of the best parts of being a fursuiter is the photography. A good handler can make something like this feel like this. But even if you're a photography novice, we've got you covered. Here's a couple tricks you can use to take your skills to the next level and help capture your suitor's next favorite photo. Always be on the lookout for cool places to take pictures. Fursuits can look better from different angles. Try to find their sweet spot. Experiment! Having them spread their arms or stand with their foot paws far apart helps to better show off their suit's details. The best lighting for photos is natural light, so posing your suitor near a window is always a good option. 
lighting from straight on will make your suitor's face appear kind of flat. Try to position them so they are lit from the far side of their face, so as to create depth. When taking pictures with other suitors, be sure to get their Twitter or social media handles so you can tag them if you post any pictures online. When asking more experienced fursuiters, what makes someone a good handler? The word that comes up again and again is interpreter. To a novice handler, handling will feel a lot like babysitting. But experienced handlers, through interpreting, can share in the limelight with their fursuiter by playing a complimentary role. Give your fursuiter an excuse to play up their character. Fursuits are potential death traps. They do not allow any emotion to come through, so it can be difficult to tell when your fursuiter is in distress. An empathetic handler takes care to be aware of verbal and nonverbal cues. Before you handle anyone, make sure you have an agreed upon set of signals to use to communicate in case of an emergency. Hand signals like, I'm fine, or get me out of here, allow you to communicate effectively even from a distance. Here are a couple basic signs to help you get started. That sure was a lot of information, huh? Let's do a quick overview before we wrap up. Today, we talked about how to pack for a fursuit outing, help your suitor get around, keep your suitor safe and happy, capture all the fun on camera, and facilitate communication. Thanks again for hanging out with us today. We hope you've learned a lot. Taking care of a fursuiter can be a big responsibility, but if you can remember everything you've learned, you can make it a safe, fun, engaging experience for everyone around you. It looks like Ling Ling wants you to help him around the park. What do you say? Think you can handle it? <laughs>